chemical properties of metals what happens when metals are burnt in air already we studied when magnesium ribbon is burnt in air to form magnesium oxide almost all metals combine with oxygen to form metal oxide when copper is heated in air to form black copper oxide similarly aluminum forms aluminum oxide some metal oxides like aluminum and zinc oxides show both acidic as well as basic behavior aluminum oxides which react with acids as well as bases to produce salts and water are known as amphoteric oxides sodium oxide and potassium oxide dissolve in water to produce alkalis all the metals do not react with oxygen at the same rate different metals show different activities towards oxygen for example sodium and potassium react vigorously that they catch fire if kept immersed in kerosene oil iron does not burn on heating but iron filings burn vigorously when sprinkled in the flame of the burners copper does not burn but the hot metal is coated with a black colored layer of copper dioxide silver and gold do not react with oxygen even at high temperature what happens when metals react with water activity take small pieces of sodium potassium calcium magnesium aluminum iron and zinc separately in beakers containing half filled cold water observe the metals react with cold water or not sodium and potassium react violent and exothermic with cold water that the evolved hydrogen immediately catches fire calcium is also reacting with water but it is less violent the heat is not sufficient for the hydrogen to catch fire calcium starts floating because the bubbles of hydrogen gas are formed magnesium does not react with cold water so put it into hot water it reacts with hot water to form magnesium hydroxide and hydrogen it also starts floating due to the hydrogen gas sticking to its surface aluminum iron and zinc do not react either with cold or hot water all of these metals to the steam they react with steam to form metal oxide and hydrogen